I want it to be perfect. No, we'll be, honestly. Like, I want it to be so good. Dude, you got it. Anything you do is good. You think so? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Listen, anything you make that you want to make good will be good. Just put your mind to it. All it is, it's, an, it's, an it's a it's a mindset. You know how many videos of my thought were shit, and everybody's like, "Yeah, I love that." That's this. It's just a mindset thing. What is going on, guys? Migs here, back with another video. But you already know that because you're watching it. This video is gonna be a lot different than the videos I posted on this channel, like ever. And I think that's because I've been hiding a talent from you guys that I haven't really showcased, and I want to. I think it's time. But I wanted to do it in a way that, that also kept you guys interested and fulfilled that creative need that I had. And I think I found a happy medium. So what I'm going to do for this series is I'm going to interview people that you may or may not know and at the end showcase that art that I'm talking about, which is photography. So I'm going to show you guys photos that I took of them. Also, if you guys like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments because I want you guys to be invested in this as much as I'm invested in this. So please let me know what you guys think. Now let's get into it and introduce our first guest. I'm currently taking out, what's this called? A splinter? A splinter. Because on the way here, I took pictures of a horse. And, and you got a splinter. I got a splinter. Um, hi guys, how are you guys <laughs> doing? I am here with... I'm not Miguel, but you're Miguel. I'm Miguel, you're Jeff Saxton Vlogs. Or known as Swift, as Swift. by many as well. Correct, yeah. Long time friend. Yeah, crazy how we became yeah, friends. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's through the guy whose car we're sit currently sitting in. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he knows that, like, you really... No, yeah. Um, but McJargan that Nuggets. McJargan Nuggets, yes. Right. One of my good friends. Yeah. And your good friends. Yep. It, I haven't seen you in a while, though, because you, you come around, so we all live yeah. in the same house. Yeah, so, but like, I'm recently, back and forth. Yeah, recently like, you... Me and my mom have a... To COVID. Yeah, so, like... Throughout that time, me and my mom kind of mended our relationship because, like, she was like, you need to get a job, you need to do this. And then recently, you know, I've had some things finally take off for me, um, even though my finances are still not perfect at this moment. Uh, made some bad investments and lost money. We You're all talking do about that. this as in the social medias? Yeah, well, so YouTube, YouTube, Story YouTube, Fire. Story Fire, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, you name it, I do it. Nice. Um, it's because it's important to take all your eggs and not put them in one basket. Yeah, you know, I feel you. I feel you. And you're like growing exponentially in all these platforms. I remember um, on YouTube when I met you, you were at like not even 100k yet. Because I remember you took the picture at one of our friends' house at Nick's house. Oh of yeah, you getting 100k for the first time. Yeah, I was there it, for that. It was. Um, we. I just got back from South Carolina. We had some going on with Kip on camera, me and McJargan Nuggets, and like, I have to first off thank, thank Jesse, because if it wasn't for Jesse, I'd probably be like at maybe 30, 40K on my own. Um, which is still terms, good, which is which still is really impressive. Which is still amazing, right. but Jesse really, really helped me out, and it's something that I'm forever grateful for, because like, at the time that I met him, I had maybe a few thousand subs, and then the drone crash happened. Why don't you show it to them? Oh, I, I see a perfectly fine drone right now. But me and Jen, we, I said, hey, I give you a shout out, man. So you got your shout out. Yeah, now. You, you, yo, you need money for that. What is nah, it? You I'm, said it's 20 bucks, I give you 20 bucks for that. Yeah, no, nah, don't worry about that. And that just, whoop. Like, it literally was like, my channel was like this, you know? And then all of a sudden it was like, bam, mm. skyrocketed. And he helped me out a lot. And then I started getting used more and more to be in the videos. Like, hey, you, you good? I'm like, of course. And, um, you know, and then all of a sudden I ended up working for him. And <laughs> along the way, he got to meet some incredible people. Like could find a camera, Boogie, uh, Lance, because of Jesse. And all those people, including you, Regenis, everybody has had a part in helping me grow as not only an influencer and creator, but also as a person. And, um, you know, these are all relationships that I do cherish and I'm right. thankful for. And yeah, and I don't think you're alone in that because I feel like everybody in our circle and mm -hmm. our group has been, like, helping each other grow yeah. and make... And that, that's the great thing about the content house. I'm, in, I'm back and forth between my parents because I have a lot of responsibilities. My hometown, uh, like, I'm a volunteer firefighter. Which, oh, yeah. which is something I love. Um, and but, volunteer, you do that for free. You do that like all yeah, the time. Uh, like, yeah, which means I don't, I don't get paid whatsoever 
for to do firefighting. And then on top of that, you, social media is my job. And I know I told you this before we started recording, but we're here to take photos. And uh, this is a new series where I want to like talk yeah. to each each one of the people in the house um, separately. And I want to grow it into like maybe other people and see who else I can interview and stuff. Just just bring I like, them down. I to like earth. the idea but, though. Oh, thank you. But this time, we actually have a purpose. Um, not just for the video are we taking photos, but we're taking pictures for you because you're promoting your merch I am uh, I don't have a set date yet, but uh, I plan on releasing some brand new merch uh, It actually was inspired from one of my friends because I usually drop like if I drop merch It's not in the color white and my one friends like because like when you're fat no. In white, it, bro. Listen, I look, I, I look like a giant marshmallow right now, or I look like the um that that guy in the tire commercials. I've I, grown up, I've grown up chubby. I'm not gonna like, I'm, I'm, I'm chubby, right? Bro, I, you're I understand. Not chub, you're not chubby. Listen, I understand <laughs> where you're coming from with the white, but right. So like, my friend's like, bro, you gotta drop like something white. I was like, all right, I, I will. So like, I was like, screw it, I'll do a white drop, right? Okay. And so with this drop, I'm dropping a hoodie. And joggers, maybe a white T-shirt, but like I don't, I don't wear white T-shirts with text, honestly. But like, this is probably the most softest and most comfortable merch that I'll ever drop. We're gonna try today to make them pop. Yeah. Make sure that it's st like everything stands out, the Saxton, the branding, um, and we. I think we picked a really good location for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we met through McJuggernuggets. We met through McJuggernuggets. Yeah, we videos, met through Jesse. And that's kind of how you met a lot of my friends, cause like I was friends the with whole entire Regina, uh, squad. the Regina squad. Yeah, and as I it was, was nicknamed. Part, yeah, I was kind of a part of the Regina squad, but I was like doing my own little thing, and yeah. I wasn't as like in it as everybody else was, like Jason, Nick, and and Javi were. But and then like that squad got brought more into to the um, Jesse's uh, content, yep. and that's you know, cause at that time I was the cameraman, and that's how we all basically met and I'm very like extroverted I needed to be like in yeah. there somehow so I just always was like oh yeah I'm down for videos yeah I'm down for videos Every so time like, you want a house that wasn't actually a house right and that infamous scene came up and I'm in that like I feel like a lot of people disregard oh, the, the daddy fact. chill scene yeah 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 I yeah. feel like a lot of people disregard the fact that I'm in there but you, you're you know, kind of like I, you're kind of like you're right behind appearance. him I make my little appearance <laughs> you were like it was like boom Boom! Oh, that's, so, that's so crazy. You were filming that. Yeah, like, that's, that's insane. That, that's the literally most viral thing I've ever filmed. I feel like that anyone. video is gonna connect a, a lot. Like I'm gonna be inserting that video a lot in this series because you're gonna be talking to everybody that was kind of like in, in that, that scene. That video has garnered so many views, like millions of views. I there's not a day that goes by that I don't get someone reaching out to me like, "Wait, is this you in the red?" Like, and I'm I'm not even in like I'm just literally a little blurb in that moment. So are you more like a do you like being behind the camera more than you do in front of the camera, or do you prefer being in front of the camera? That's a great question. You know, I kind of feel like I'm retired as a cameraman. Okay. Um, you know, but if like opportunity ever came along, you I mean, I. I, I could pick it up. I mean, like, so after I left Jesse, I, uh, I obviously was doing this full time for myself. And then, you know, an offer came to go film for Kid Behind a Camera for a docu-series he was doing about a family member. And I got assaulted, actually, while filming. Legit, I'm filming this one thing, a confrontation. And I get punched as I'm filming. And I still keep the shot as steady as possible while getting hit. And then, what like, the dude, like... Keemstar saw the clip and he's like, wow, that cameraman you have is good. I'm like, what? All I want to do is help people leave a positive That's impact good. on somebody's yeah, and life. I can, I see that completely in, in the way you carry yourself, the way you talk to people. I I respect that like, a lot. There's been that. times where I've gone to the house, I'm like, all right, everybody open up your computers. Let's figure out what is wrong with YouTube channels and how we can you better. Try, you really try your best. And like, and I appreciate I do, you. I love, I love the analytics. Emails. You've helped me with um, video ideas, like editing. It was funny. I had, TikToks. I, I had, we're, Snapchat we're, spotlight, yeah, you bring that up. Like yeah. you're, you're, you're really cool. It, it like, was fun because like the other day we we're just sitting there on the couch. And I'm like, yeah, I got an idea. And it's like, how'd you just come up with that in the middle of a conversation about something else? Like, dude, my mind's always just constantly thinking about YouTube in a weird way. Jeff Saxton, everybody. <laughs> um, now it's my turn to help you and get these pictures out so you can promote your merch. Is that cool? Hey, with you? I like that. Dude, I'm, I'm like so that idea? Bro, it's so so comfortable. Like, I think I so. Yes, like, I believe I, listen, you. I feel listen, it. I feel it. At the end of the it. day, if even one person buys this, I'll be happy. Right, let's get I'm these, ordering let's more get for these myself. Let's get these photos done. Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right, let's get these this photos. 
Let's go. And they're coming along because you're gonna see the photos. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. When it comes to photography if you come over here you'll look and you'll see that there's like parts of the of the thing of the fence you think that's a fence it's, well it's called rail or decking the decking is missing so right through here you take your camera and you get a nice shot So we did two sets of photos, one by the rock, one by the gazebo. I think you said you're good on photos mm -hmm. for your merch stuff. Yeah. And I think I got a, a pretty decent amount of photos for my video. So I think we're gonna wrap things up here. I appreciate it again. Thank you so much for vlogging Dude, off your phone. Thank you, you so are much. A tremendous videographer. I will <laughs> say if I do say so much. Can I just say honestly, thank you so much for A having me in your video today and B taking photos for a merch shop that I actually am very excited to do. Like, I'm like, well, I did merch in the past. I wasn't too excited for it, but like, this is something I'm genuinely excited because I absolutely love the product. Awesome. Why? Well, I, I, of <laughs> course. Like, well, I don't know what to say. I, without a doubt, obviously, I'd do it for you. Cause like, yeah, we're I friends, appreciate like, it. Of course, a hundred percent. Um, I think there is a thunderstorm coming. I know it looks clear, but if you look that way. The gray clouds are coming, Oof. which is actually perfect for, for photography. To be honest, cloudy days means uh, a nice exposure. But anyways, that's for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Ring the post notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And peace. I don't know which one it is.